Well, there's growing fallout today as U.S. lawmakers call on the Justice Department to release more details on the search of former President Donald Trump's Florida residence. And the FBI says its agents and properties have been confronted with a number of threats. CBS 4's Elise Preston reports. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee is asking the director of national intelligence for an immediate review and damage assessment after revelations of former President Trump kept highly classified White House information at his Florida estate. The fact that they were in an unsecure place uh, that is guarded with nothing more than a padlock uh, or whatever security they had at a hotel uh, is deeply alarming. On Friday, a federal judge unsealed the warrant that authorized last week's FBI search of Mar-a-Lago and a receipt of items that were seized. It said agents retrieved close to two dozen boxes of material containing 11 sets of classified documents, some marked top secret. The Justice Department is investigating Trump for potential criminal action. It found probable cause of impeding the investigation as well as the removal of classified national security records and violation of parts of the Espionage Act. House Republicans are demanding the Department of Justice hand over the affidavit detailing the basis for their warrant. The affidavit in support of the warrant will give you the probable cause to try to understand what is going on here. Meanwhile, CBS News has learned a joint FBI Homeland Security memo sent to law enforcement across the country warns of growing threats against them, including a threat to place a so-called dirty bomb in front of FBI headquarters and general cause for civil war and armed rebellion. Over the weekend, supporters of the former president gathered again near Mar-a-Lago to protest the search of his home. Demonstrators also turned out at the FBI field offices in Los Angeles and Phoenix and at a rally in New Jersey. Elise Preston, CBS News.